And we have some hopeful news on the Ebola front where a vaccine could be on the way. Eunice Kim joins us from the News Center for the latest on this and other global stories we're following at this hour. Eunice, the World Health Organization has announced a timeline of sorts to send uh, treatment options to Ebola hotspots there in West Africa. Right, Mark. A serum in the coming weeks and a vaccine trial by the start of next year to West Africa are the goals that the WHO has put forth. This as the U.S. Department of Homeland Security introduced a new travel limitation to ease Ebola fears in the country. Our Connie Lee has the details. A serum made from the blood of patients who have recovered from Ebola could be available in Africa within weeks. According to the World Health Organization, the serum, which would contain Ebola antibodies, would first be sent to Liberia, one of the worst hit nations, to treat new victims of the virus. Marie Paul Kinney of the WHO also said that a vaccine could be ready by this January to combat the outbreak that has already killed more than 4,500 people. This hopeful news comes amid some new restrictions in the United States. The U.S. government announced on Tuesday that starting Wednesday, travelers to the U.S. coming from the nations of Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone must fly into one of the five designated airports in the cities of Chicago, Atlanta, Washington, Newark, New Jersey and New York City. All travelers, even U.S. citizens who spend time in any of the Ebola-stricken nations will go through an enhanced screening process for the virus. People in the U.S. seem pleased about the new restrictions. I think that sounds like a good idea because for those five designated airports, they can certainly set up the proper medical facilities. That's how you control it. Those are the people that are coming in. You know where they're coming from, not where they're not coming from. So far, three people have been diagnosed with Ebola on U.S. soil, two of them healthcare workers. Connie Lee, Arirang News.